Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anna and I'm a registered nurse from Canada who will be going to medical school next year. So today I wanted to do a follow-up video to my previous video and talk about the international medical schools that I was interested in applying to that did not require the MCAT or having to take any science prereqs. So for those of you guys out there who are also non-traditional applicants, maybe you guys are nurses as well, or maybe you did major in a science major, I think this video will be really helpful. But I do want to give a disclaimer out there for you guys because I don't want this video to discourage you guys from taking the MCAT or taking any science prereqs. In fact, I would highly encourage you guys to do so because it will definitely open up a lot more doors for you and increase your chances of being accepted into a medical school. But you know, for those of you out there, like I said, who are non-traditional applicants, taking the MCAT is a huge hurdle and might deter you guys from applying to medical school. So if you were interested in learning about which medical schools you're eligible for without having to take the MCAT or science prereqs, then you'll definitely be interested in this video. A second disclaimer I do want to give you guys is that for schools that don't require the MCAT or any science prereqs, this most likely will mean that you need a higher GPA or to do well on the MMI or the interview or the supplementary application to make up for the fact that you were missing those requirements. But yeah, those are the two disclaimers I want to give you guys, so let's start the video. So the first country I wanted to share with you guys is Ireland and I did actually hear a lot of good things about Irish medical schools in terms of their prestige and their matching rates but don't quote me on this and sorry I'm just looking down on my computer because there's a lot of schools I can't remember them all but there are three Irish medical schools that are five years long that don't require the MCAT and the first one is Trinity College Dublin the second university is the National University of Ireland in in Galway and the third university is the Medical University of Bahrain. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing this but the one thing to note about these five-year programs is that it says they need you to have college level courses in biology, chemistry, and either math or physics but when I emailed Atlantic Bridge which is the organization that you apply to for these Irish medical schools they told me that I may still be eligible for these schools without the science prereqs. But if you were interested in applying to these Irish medical schools, it's best to email Atlantic Bridge yourself and confirm this. Also note that if you do write the MCAT, there's actually four-year Irish medical school programs that you can apply to. But if you didn't write the MCAT, then these are the three Irish medical school programs that you can apply to. Also do note that there are some Irish medical school programs that you can actually apply to after high school but this most likely means that you would have to have math and science courses during your high school career. So the second country that I was interested in looking into was actually New Zealand and the only university in New Zealand that accepts international students is the University of Auckland. The program is originally six years long but if you have a degree you can actually apply through the graduate stream and finish the medical degree program in five years instead of six years. On the website it says that you need to have a relevant degree which most likely means a science degree such as a degree in biochemistry but when I called them and asked they said that anyone with a degree can actually apply and they said that you know someone with a music degree even got in but when it came to the final acceptance they in the end emailed me and told me that because I have a nursing degree I was missing some of these science prereqs and I may have to meet other certain conditions but in the end they said that because I did well on the 
interview, they were able to make an exception for me. So that was really great. But if you were interested in University of Auckland, just make sure that you ask the medical faculty again yourself, because that was definitely a little bit confusing for me. Another thing to note about the University of Auckland is that unfortunately, they're only able to take 30 international medical students. But two amazing things though, is that there actually is no application fee that they charge when you apply to the program, which is awesome because I've never come across that before. And you guys probably know, applying to medical school is really expensive. And also the interviews are done over Skype. So that definitely saves a lot of money and time. So if you do have a pretty competitive GPA and you're interested, I mean, it definitely wouldn't hurt to apply and give it a shot, especially because application fee is free and the interview is done over Skype. There are two medical school programs that don't require you to take the MCAT and the first one is the James Cook University in Townsville, Australia and Townsville is actually a small city in North Queensland. So it's a six year program and you can actually apply directly from high school or if you have a degree you can also apply but I do believe that it'll still be six years to complete. And the second university in Australia is Manesh University. And if you have a degree, you can apply under the graduate stream and finish the program in four years. But do note though that if you are a nurse, then you aren't qualified for this program because in order to be eligible for Manesh's medical school program, you have to have taken a bunch of biomedical courses and I'll leave the exact details down below. I think it's like five units that you would have had to take and I thought that I would have been eligible because I remember I did take a bunch of science courses for example anatomy and physiology but you know some of them didn't qualify so it really did suck because originally I emailed them to see if I would qualify for it and they're like no you have to pay a hundred dollars first in order for them to assess your application so just to save you guys some money and let you guys know in advance that you know if you're a nurse or you don't have a significant amount of biomed courses most likely you will not be accepted into Manesh's program so lastly, I was also interested in the UK and there are actually two private medical schools in the UK that accept students without the MCAT or any science prereqs. And the first university is the University of Buckingham, which is a four and a half year program. And the second university is the University of Central Lancashire Medical School, which is a five-year program. To be honest, I don't know too much about these two schools. I do know that they are private schools which don't have the best reputation according to some of the forums I was reading. But if you guys are interested, I'll definitely leave the links down below for these two schools. So you may have noticed that I didn't include any Caribbean medical schools, so I'm really sorry about that. But personally, I wasn't too interested in applying to Caribbean medical schools, but they are also a very popular option and there's a lot of info out there already. But I didn't really find too much info about the specific schools that I was talking about, so I hope it was helpful. And I did also make a video on the five things that you should know when applying to international medical schools that I would highly, highly recommend you guys to watch watch because it includes a lot of helpful tips and tricks that I learned along the way and info that you should definitely know about. But if you guys have any questions, as always, please feel free to link them down below and I will try my best to answer them. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is rn to dr and send me a DM there and I can try my best to answer. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. I'm planning to do a video next on the Canadian medical schools I applied to that did not require any science prereqs or the MCAT. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in my next video.